All right, you bunch of filthy sausage gobblers. Welcome back to weaselworldworldwide.com.uk and you join us with a fine specimen of a hey, box. Scott met this guy in RuneScape. <laughs> <laughs> a long list of items, I'll just summarise for you quickly. Rear seals, subframe points, welded diff, new trading arms, audio electrics, coolant leaks, obviously, and a wheel rod to leak. Oh, right, I've hidden his number now. Oops. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> sorry mate. <laughs> um, yeah, we've got some work to do, so let's get cracking. Let's take you on a wonderful tour of this beautiful automotive specimen. Quickly. First thing. Nice. <laughs> Service is overdue by 33,800 miles. <laughs> There's a micro P, I mean aquarium, growing in the uh, other door card over there. Sloshes. I don't know if you can hear. Exhaust blowing like. Yeah! There's no interior. Standard 46 gig car. Um, that's all that's exciting here, really. Rear passengers consist of a differential and a prop shaft. <laughs> and in the cargo compartment, we have. Or it's supposed to be attached to the vehicle. Hmm. Hmm. You gonna attach it? It's your job. <laughs> Just click your fingers, man. So it's up to temp now, we're going to go underneath and check if it's gushing fluid. We turned it on, we inspected it, we can now find no leakages. We believe he may have had his filler cap not on properly. Easy fix, we like them. So, as you can see, the side lights are not on. As a result of that, the indicators are on as a fail safe. So, we need to basically consult the literature of the Haynes gods and see if there's any information that might help us out. Lighting right control unit. Hello. Defending item, sir. Hidden away. So that's the issue. Took a little bit of searching. Basically, they've just been cut really short and they're kind of hard to find. So they just need plugs wiring in. Um, we do. Flash me, baby. Um, you last saw us after inspecting the vehicle and getting an idea of what we need to do. We have since got it up on the lift and we've dropped the whole back end. And we're now just uh, gonna grind back some of the superficial rust and see what is really gonna be the big issue. I mean, it doesn't look horrific. What's happening, Rog? So we strip back a lot of the surface rust to see if we can find any holes or pit in. There's not that much, luckily. Um, we've also cleaned up around where the subframe mounts to the car. Basically got it ready for the subframe um, reinforcements. We have the differential. We want it welded, I believe, so we've opened it up. That'll make it skid worthy. Uh -huh. um, so, whilst I weld up the reinforcements, we're just gonna... Discombobulate. Take the differential. 
Pretty straightforward stuff to be honest. She free boy. Is that a boy or a girl? Pull it out. It's a baby boy! Oh, I'm so happy for you! This is child friendly. <laughs> 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 Welcome back to another episode of Gav Does Maths. Yeah, 670 wide circle. Is it 670 long as well? Long? Hmm. Nice lift, man. Safety. <laughs> We've done a lot on the 46. It's been up in the air for probably like four or five days. Um, we've chopped out the wheel well. We've done a lot of rust reduction, a lot of welding, a lot of patching stuff, and then we've undersealed it all. Looks pretty neat, I think. Um, but also, yeah, the lift is broken. Quite a political one, that really, isn't it? It's quite bad. So I mean, really, there's a big crack. There's a whole way round. Yeah, round the other side, yeah. in a nice circle. Um, Fully encapsulated, so. Yeah, encapsulated. But because we've taken the back end of this car, mm -hmm. we can't put it down. So uh, we're gonna try smash it all out tonight. Well, majority. There's a couple of electrical issues, but we might address that once we can drive it out of here. We're um, about to do the brake lines. Jamie's welded up the diff, uh, very nice, no plate, straight weld, he loves it, <laughs> like plate, myself. Like plate guy. <laughs> been busy bees um the lift fell over so we have called upon Weasel Works Earth Works Division once more That's and right. we have to do everything on the floor like peasants um, we have under sealed new brake lines whole back end is now attached we have done a bit of wiring mm. also we had some trouble with these bushes these from Flowflex complete tap wrong size wrong shape 
So we ordered some strong flat ones and they are now in. We did that obviously on the concrete, it's miserable. Uh, what else we've got to do? Put some put the exhaust on, bit of code in, and we have permission from the customer to do some rips. So you don't have to tell me to us. On this week's episode of Weasel Works Time Attack, the boys find a dead body. Ah! Yeah, we found Jim's dead, dead cat stash. <laughs> you can see the ramps being discombobulated. Uh, they tried to kill us. The what? Our best friend tried to kill us. So, we've put him in the ground. It's George. I'm going here. <laughs> the Land Rover, I think, broke the lift. Well, old fun concrete. Sorry. We knew that was going to be a, a bit of a stab in the dark when we, when we tried it, but it's lasted a whole year now. It's more than a year, isn't it? Yeah. We looked at more we, we looked at the uh, the twin bush schematics, and they said it needed to be. Is it seven fifty? What deep? Yeah, no, deep. Two hundred deep. So half its recommended level. Safe. Safety first. So we've we basically ripped it all up. Um, it's taken quite a while. We're on day two so far. Oh, we've, got we've got the, the concrete, concrete team here. Eh? The rest concrete. of the This guy actually thinks, I think, I think he knows what he's doing. 50-50. All right, Is that two liters of water? Yeah, do you want to look at my hole? Eight no, it's eight, eight it's two liters of water. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's a professional looking rebar in there. It's quite deep. <laughs> <laughs> it is actually quite deep. Put some concrete in and then wait two weeks for it to go off, if not longer. Two weeks. Two weeks Probably of longer, no lift. Yeah. yeah, that's it. Brand spankers, that is. Really are jack of all trades, mate. Ah! No one's gonna be able to make that out, are they? One eternity later. That's all, folks. Go! Go! Go!